Wednesday and Saturday. And what is this doing here? It doesn't belong here. Hey, what's up, you guys? I'm Legend Rose. Welcome back to our channel. If this is your first time stopping by, don't forget to go ahead and hit that subscribe button, which looks like this, and the little notification bell next to it, so you'll be notified every time a new video goes up, which is every Monday, Wednesday, and sweet Saturday. So in today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys how to make a very easy, super duper quick, vegan pie crust. I know a lot of you guys are like, what? She's making pie crust, but she always does store-bought pie crust and store-bought doughs and, well, comes a time in a woman's life where they have to, have to make pie crust. And this is our time. So, pie crust it is. Also, because next week I'll be showing you guys how to make something with the pie crust and uh, let's get busy. So let's go ahead and get started. So in our mixing bowl we have one and a half cups of all-purpose flour. I'm also going to be adding in a fourth of a teaspoon of salt, so that's what that was, and a fourth of a teaspoon of sugar. And we're going to go ahead and mix this up. Next we're going to be adding in our vegetable shortening. And this is something that you could definitely do in a mixer, that if you have a mixer it's best to do in a mixer. But if you guys have been with me for a long time, you know I don't like to use my KitchenAid mixer often just because it's like kind of a pain in the butt, really, but you know, whatever. But if you have one and you feel like using it, go ahead. So I just added in half of a cup of vegetable shortening and I'm going to go ahead and just sort of like using my whisk, I'm going to like cut the vegetable shortening into my flour. You could also get your clean hands in there and crumble it up with your hands. Alright, so I went in with my hands and I finished crumbling it all up. And this is how you want it to look. And the last ingredient is a fourth of a cup of unsweetened almond milk. So I'm going to go in with my hand and sort of like knead our dough. Alright guys, so now that we've finished kneading our dough, this is what you want it to look like. You want it to look like a, just like a ball of, of like clay dough or something like that. It's not going to be uh, crummy or anything. And at this point, you can wrap it up in um, some saran wrap or you can wrap it up in aluminum foil, place it into the fridge. You can store it in your fridge for three days, cover it up. Um, you could also roll it out, put it onto um, a, like freezer to oven pan, like an aluminum pie dish, uh, just put it in that, like you're about to make the pie, and then just wrap it up, and then you can keep it in the freezer a lot longer, say like three months or so, you don't want to do too much. Um, and yeah, so if you're doing like a pie that doesn't require the top, um, just like the one layer pie, you can go ahead and use this for the bottom. You could also make two batches and use one for the bottom, one for the top, one for the top. So this is like just for one layer, for either the bottom or the top. You could also use this pie crust for so many different things, which I'm going to be showing you guys. And like I said, next week, I'll be showing you guys how to make something with this pie dough. Pie dough, pie crust dough. <laughs> so don't forget to stay tuned for that. Uh, stay on the lookout for that. Also, subscribe if you haven't, so you won't miss it. Anywho, thank you guys so much for watching, and I will talk to you guys very soon. Bye, guys.